All right, well, after I uh, had some success with this uh, craft stick being wound up as a coil for an exciter, and uh, after uh, listening to the comments by Mongrel Shark about the ratio of the width to the length on these Tesla coil type of circuit uh, coils, I built a uh, better form using three of the craft sticks and then wound it up with 30 gauge wire and it worked really really good on a standard Slayer exciter and um, very happy with it. The circuit is a standard Slayer exciter if you don't know what that is uh, Google it and uh, they have the circuit uh, posted even though it's Gary Bluer's design it's basically common knowledge now and uh, very easy to make if you can make a jewel thief you can make a Slayer exciter and this one's running on 9 volts. And uh, it does the standard uh, fluorescent light trick. Too bad this isn't at night. You'd see this better. But it also does this. This is a little pulse motor here that um, you've seen before. And it'll run this wirelessly. Anyway, that's uh, the latest thing with my little experiments with this um, craft stick idea using the craft sticks as a form. And that's 30 gauge wire. It's just wrapped up the length of that, that tongue depressor stick. I don't know how many turns. And there's about three turns of a uh, solid core hookup wire stuff. And then a standard Slayer exciter circuit. Uh, this is an MPS A06. Uh, the two and two two twos twos work. The uh, other small switching uh, transistors work. The uh, popular one is the uh, TIP31. If you're going to run it with more voltage, you also have a little heat sink on that thing because these transistors get hot. But um, this was the biggest thing right here was the wireless being able to run this thing uh, wirelessly and I thought that was really cool so anyway more fun with these uh, little craft stick projects thanks for watching